时攻读一遍，那大家一定会觉得说，哎，为什么六月九号下个星期又是六月九号？很简单。Master does one day, and we listen. We read her footprints a day. Next week, we are going to pause this because of our eight years birthday next week. Master does one day, and we listen. We read her. We believe we have potential. And we keep our Next original week, aspiration. We are to work hard and diligently. Why do we need more people to talk about Ciji and do Ciji volunteering work? Because Master says Ciji started in Taiwan, but many people do not understand because not because we didn't do much, but because we didn't talk enough. We used to just、uh, do it. And we didn't mention it, but now we need to grasp the opportunities to tell people, share good deeds, say good words. Then the good dharma can continuously pass on, life after life. Everyone should be able to say and say together. Let's go. The study is fun, and we. Gather together in Dharma. This is our eight years birthday logo to celebrate our birthday next week. This is the the gift we got from the seventh year birthday. They say this is the way to study together. And here, these are conversations about the presents we're going to give guests for our eight years birthday. And also, we have a lot of good, positive feedback from our study group online. Wow, we have accumulated twenty thousand, no, two hundred thousand. Words of good and positive feedback. We are very grateful for our guests and brothers and sisters who gave us the feedback. And also, all these feedbacks will be on the Jingzi headquarters newspaper. 呃、This year we have met with Master two times already, January first, January tenth, and the.、Uh, mm, okay. So we want to thank the headquarters for giving us the opportunity to meet Master and to have our reports on the newspaper there. And this is the Jingzi ground. Jingzi. You are touched by any presentation here. Please send in your feedback. We appreciate them all. 这样子的，待会大家就会知道哈。那我们先来看一下，因为上人的祝福，所以包括美惠上次。If you send in your feedback, we will give you a present for for your contribution. On April twenty fifth last year, Master encouraged us to have the English interpretation. So today we have the American A team. These seven volunteers. Let's thank them for interpreting today. Jack, Leon, Victor, Andrew, Alex. See, these are just samples about all the interpreters, their feedback when we had a reunion 
actually the first reunion on February 24th. Today, I want to share with you the North, Northern, Northwestern, North, North California. Okay, this is actually my feedback. <laughs> I said, as long as you devote without asking anything in return, all the angels and will come to help you. So I have been working with English for many, many years, but the interpretation is still a new task for me. So a lot of challenges. And I'm very grateful that teacher Mei Yun always gave us the resources, the materials early so we could interpret, we could translate them early. And also our team leader, Brother Jack, assigned us so we have the interpreter and the backup. And one thing interesting is last year, November 11th, my dad, my old cell phone was going to die, but so I got my backup for my husband's cell phone, and I also asked the backup interpreter, Brother Regan, to, to be online. And can you imagine? My old cell phone was very cooperative. It waited until I finished all the interpretation, and then it died. So thank you. Yeah, so without sharing that, you probably don't know about what happened behind the interpretation. So we want to thank all the interpreters. And Master said, if everyone worked together, then everyone is a talent. Now we're going to move into the positive feedback from our Audience. All feedback are very welcome. Okay, now please forward the link of this book club to everyone, to your friends and family, so everyone can enjoy it. Last week, we had the most feedback from family members in mainland China. Mm. So these are samples. They are, they are very happy to see everyone in the book club. These are comments about the speaker, Indonesia CEO. Indonesia volunteers are very grateful to the CEO, Sister Sume, for working so hard for 20 plus years and uh, never gave up. 10 years ago, I was working in Jakarta. Now I'm working in Shandong. And every time I walk by Ciji, I'm very impressed with both Ciji places. So from Indonesia to Shandong, she's connecting with us. Thailand, Thailand, and Sister Peng, also a con a commented and praised Sister Tsumei. Next week, she will be online with us too. This part is about Sister Ding Xueyu leading us the master's footprints. Next time, Sister Xueyu will be leading the discussion on June 2nd, and she is already starting preparing for it. These people are very busy, but they, they also give us the result very quickly. Here's a comment from England. 
She said, we, we appreciate Sister Sherry's leading so we could follow. These are wonderful comments about Director Ning Sheng from the Dalin Ziji Hospital. Canada Bell says, after listening to Director Lai's talk, it's like I learned a lot about medical medicine and health. Qing Shui sister says, we really appreciate Director Lai's Sherry, so we learned a lot. Thank you, Director Lai. And Mu, Mu Hui from Jiangsu. Even though I cannot read every single one, we really appreciate all your feedback. And we pass this on to all the line groups so every, everyone can read about it. Thank you. Thank you. Here's about Sister Lu Jinghua in Suzhou. Yeah, we learned a lot and we benefit a lot from her sharing. One with feedback from Malaysia. Oh, many people learned about how to teach these kids to read. And Brother Zhong Han from the Jing Si Abo gave us a very touching sharing. You brothers, sisters from New York, listening to the talk, and they are very grateful for the sharing. Oh, Cai Dali Shi Jie from Africa also shares her respect and appreciation of Brother Zhong Han's sharing. And uh, we also got feedback from Sister Fang Wen. So let's applaud for all the positive, for the feedback. And there are more, these are more from Canada family members and family members from America, from the U.S. Yeah, from New York, from California. And here are family members from Taiwan. Thank you. And more positive feedbacks from Chinese family members. Thank you, thank you. Let's applaud to their, and they even make poems, they even wrote poems. We see they are in the poem form. See, book study and family members from all over gather together. And met the director of the hospital. She let us know that not only they cure people, but they also spread love to people. And look at all these page full of comments and supports from family members in China, from Yunnan province, from Henan province, from Sichuan. Even though they are far in distance, but we are so close in our hearts. Here, Sister Emily from England and uh, Sister Alpha from Manila and uh, Brother Leon from Indonesia and more from Indonesia. Here are the English feedback from the English Interpretation Channel. Wow, feel so blessed to listen to Brother Lu sharing in his overseas mission in Africa. Today's translation team is excellent. So proud with his vast experience in the international relief works. 
So this is about Brother Zhong Han's sharing. Yeah, Brother Zhong Han really gave us benefits of all his diverse experience working for Ciji, and he also appreciates the English interpretation team. So thank you. Effie, for your encouragement. <laughs> yeah, we can imagine in the beginning we were still, we were, wow, not very organized, done, but now we're getting better and better. So thank you for your encouragement. And here, Brother Zhong Han gave us his feedback. He really appreciate. The sharing here, even though it took him three hours one way and three hours back, he he felt all the full and positive energy when he was in Kaohsiung Online Book Club. <laughs> he said it's probably caused by teacher Ming's craziness, but so, so powerful and so full of love and compassion. And he's very grateful for this positive energy he felt while he was here last week. So we need to follow our master very closely. We need to follow masters very, very closely. These are more from family members in China. And Sister Chen Lingjun from Beijing sends us her encouragement and feedback every week. So when we when people laugh with us, the happiness doubled. When we when they grow with us, we have greater breakthrough when we when we have someone face the, face the challenge with us, we are able to do it. Now, we're going to move to the call out and blessings. Okay, our next program is a call out. So we are calling out to men in China. We are also calling out to Myanmar, but uh, because of the network, we we'll probably will have to wait until 10.30. So we are calling Beijing now. My mouse is a little bit problem. This is the, we can see from the, the video report about how the uh, pandemic prevent, prevention, people are working so hard. So our volunteers uh, went there to uh, give out a, a well pack. Uh, welfare pack for our recipients. Yeah, in the area, it, it's it's all locked down. So we wish them to have a, a, a calm mind. And you can see from our master's Jinsu uh, Everton, it's very good for you. In this senior home, we bring uh, we can see from the short video about how much job they do in Beijing. They have a full uh, scope of, of care, especially this uh, young lady, Jia Yinu. She joined our uh, volunteer activity and, and become a, a, a good girl. And her mother was so happy that, that uh, this girl has changed a lot. And now uh, this boy, uh, Zhao Chen, uh, he found a, a cell phone and, and he returned it to the police. Yeah, he's very good. You can see that uh, it's all because of our volunteers accompany them. So we can see their progress. 
and also they they went out to the uh, environmental sanitary station to care for all those uh, workers, those uh, senators, 550 senators in the uh, Beijing area, in the, uh, the city called uh, Mentougou area. That's how they, they need to do the uh, evaluation the, uh, of the uh, venue so we can uh, give them a better uh, a pro procedure and, and show our respect. So they feel they are respected and, and their job are very normal, are very normal and very brave. Yes. I like to be with you because you have positive energy. So we can see from Beijing rather than Zhiping. Yeah, keep smiling rather than. <laughs> you are already online. Please, yeah, speak to us. Uh, thank to all the, the uh, brothers and sisters in Kaohsiung. Can you hear me? It's very clear. Good. Dear Master and Abode Masters, all our global volunteers, brothers and sisters, I'm from Beijing, uh, Brother Zheng Zibin. What I have today is to, uh, about a pure love that we care for the, the kids, the uh, young kids, uh, Luo Zilong. That's when the first time we saw him in 2018. He was, uh, uh, he has uh, uh, cancer. So we came to the hospital to look at him. This is the first time, yeah, he's, uh, he has no uh, expression on, on his face, just playing around with his uh, cell phone. They don't uh, until find out that Zilong is a very, uh, Favorite, Zilong's favorite is, is to painting. So we try to give, her, give him some uh, <coughs> painting brushes and, and uh, uh, color paints. So he's, he's, he found out about the uh, our, uh, bamboo bank. So he would also donate every day to help whoever needed. And in the winter time, uh, volunteers send uh, warm clothes to Zilong's mother, and also about uh, some food and some oil in the winter. And when Zilong had the second uh, operation, we went to the hospital to uh, do the award to uh, accompany him uh, in turn. And we also give him the multi grain uh, powder for him. And we, we also brought him out to do the uh, volunteer activities and tell him about the idea to eat vegetarian. Show them a good way to eat a healthy diet. So every time after the chemotherapy, uh, he would he would uh, had to go back to his old hometown. So our volunteer will go uh, send them to the Beijing train station. Uh, in the pandemic time, we cannot go to the uh, hospital, so we have to uh, call them out and, and uh, give them some uh, material uh, outside of the hospital. 
Yeah, so we send uh, the mask to his mother uh, in town. So every time we would review after uh, visiting their home and then share about all the experience we have with other people. So our whole team has now, uh, because of this, our whole team has come to, together to work together very well. And Zilong now uh, has opened up his, his mind and joined our uh, volunteer activity. Now he can smile so sweetly now. Yeah, he said he can uh, memorize uh, very many uh, sutras. Yeah. In any case, his mother would also join our activity. They, they would uh, actively join our event. And they, they found out our, our winter activity to distribute the PPE, so uh, she would join us too. His mother established vegetarian uh, meal uh, from January 2019. So in, in this whole time that he stayed in the hospital, he found, out, he found all the opportunity to promote the vegetarianism. He said, if, if, if it's not because of Atsuji's company, it would not last until now. In October 2020, uh, his mother in the Zilong start to uh, listen to the Dharma uh, in the early morning of ma a master's talk. It has been three more than three months, and he uh, has many insights with her. Only because that we have our service love, that we have these afflictions. So he said, she said she would uh, try to uh, make aspiration to help more people. So uh, for, the, for this uh, case, our uh, volunteers uh, become more uh, cooperative and we can recruit more uh, good people to join a city family. And they also can uh, understand more about uh, our uh, promotion of love and recruit uh, people. Okay, you have only 30 minutes, 30 seconds left. Uh, what we did in the past uh, uh, two and a half years, uh, more than 100 volunteers joined, and we have recruited more than 50 people. Thank you, that's my sharing. Thank you, we know that the company to our recipient is very powerful. They have to a uh, full scope of uh, caring yeah, in Beijing. We thank you. We thank them very much. Yes. yes, please welcome more people from Beijing to join our study group. Sister Chi Jin said, uh, Chi Jin uh, will come next week. This couple uh, sometimes in, in Mandan, but sometimes in, also in uh, California too but they will come next week. 
师姐说：“相约在云端，大爱无痕，片寰宇，莫忘出发心。”新北市的，那我们有更多 responses。非常感恩您哈，您每一次都在那边跟我们讲说，我喜欢和你在一起。而我们的槟城的慈楚也是。One from Taipei also. New Taipei City. I like to be with you. We eat vegetarian. In mainland China, Shenyang, Wang Gang also responds. Wang Gang and our Gengjun Sister. Ha. That we in here, Malaysia, Xinjiang, Michael, you also gave us a hello. Hello, Lily, Kuku. Thank you, all the volunteers from mainland China. Smoothly, ha. Very thank you. 秋月红是在三重，无论你们在哪里的话，能不能帮我们按赞转发，让我们更多的因为在这里的奖金要出席的，所以每个人都有。三重 City， 那个啊 ，Sister also response。周瑞新也已经上线，听到响之后已经无法回到金色，真的。太原有 Mainland China。所以刚才他为什么讲到？ And also Beijing。前面播放的一个音乐，加拿大的 Bill， 谢谢你们。Yeah。谢谢你，石家庄的李佩平，谢谢你。谢谢你。谢谢你。谢谢你。谢谢你。谢谢你。谢谢你。谢谢你。谢谢你。谢谢你。谢谢你。谢谢你。谢谢你。谢谢你。谢谢你。谢谢你。谢谢你。谢谢你。谢谢你。谢谢你。谢谢你。谢谢你。谢谢你。Everyone is missing the abode. Thank you, thank you, all the responses. This is from Shijia Zhuang Men in China. We are able to hear the Dharma from your study group. We are very happy. So we can share all the insights around the world. To transmit the Dharma of Buddha is very important. And we will gain our wisdom because of that. Thank you. Very, very touching from Shijia Zhuang in mainland China. We are all the good disciple of our master. Another long-term care, long-term care group, long-term care group. Yeah, we have another long-term care group from Fengyuan, Ah Jin Shi Hong. Now in Beijing, a brother in Malaysia. 桃园的秀珠，谢谢。嘉义的慧芬师姐，非常感恩你说线上读书会八周年生日快乐，而且刚刚刚才我欢迎桃园，看师奶，请看师奶。哎，欢迎嘉义。上个星期就跟大家提醒啊 ，Happy Happy Eight Year Anniversary。我们八周年的一个新的愿力。Thank you so much for all the responses. That's ah recruit ah more people and collect their love and heart. 哦 ，They send twenty two lotus, ah, heart lotus. Each one is ten thousand dollars. 所以，陈维西师兄，您在云林的斗六哈，来，好，北京陶俊荣师姐视频到一打开，第一个上线来的家人哈，桃园市的孙生，万总云林。好，我们还有非常多的。哎，这位刘律师姐，你说北上高铁列车上也连线看直播，非常感动。And one from Taoyuan. Thank you. 不在负责人。Me, a sister Liu. 技术有技巧，眼睛。I'm so touched about the online study group. 所以他为你而来，林坤旺，实业家，是不是？谢明勋，是哈。你有偷偷跟他讲吗？啊，谢美会长，汉文在加油。So Sam has already point out that they are looking forward to see Brother Lin to share from Chaotun. One from Sydney. Sister Chen. Anyway, thank you all of this. So next we will. Have a study group. Today is Sister Pain about the grand education and start the action. 各位亲爱的家人，大家好，我是今天的导读人潘根妹。上人赐予我的法号为明天。今天要为大家导读的经度为上人的那。Dear brothers and sisters, 二零二零年三月。My name is Pan Gengmei. 三十一号，主题为大灾教育起行动。I'll be guiding everyone for the spring garden of Master's footprint. 
In this time of the pandemic, we have changed our form of life. See, we had to uh, put up our mask, and we had to keep distance from people. And we had to uh, use our Wi-Fi and technology to connect, con communicate with each other, to work together too. And we cannot travel. Uh, we our house, uh, all the business are locked down. So they had, everybody need to stay home. Whatever we used to uh, think, it, it, it's it's uh, uh, never impossible now. So in the pandemic, human facing this nature is a, a small as an ant facing the mount Sumaru. So must say. We must be humble to face this grand education. We must have a humble heart to face uh, this uh, pandemic. Even though the pandemic uh, restricts our, our distance, but we cannot forget about enlightened sentient beings. In Taiwan, up to November 2020, we give out to 84 countries all the personal uh, protection equipment. We also uh, uh, make the clothes mask uh, manually in Taiwan. And we have sent out also welfare uh, package. So up to uh, last month, we have sent out 25 million pieces to 88 countries. You can see uh, from like in, in Indonesia, from last March, when the uh, first case confirmed, uh, local volunteers and the entrepreneurs contact the government and they to collect all the uh, resources for uh, pandemic prevention. So we can provide the hospital and government to set up the protection internet. Uh, one other one example, uh, today actually a brother Lin is here. Uh, yeah, he is running a, a shoe factory in Nanto. In, in this pandemic, originally his, his company yeah, his company is actually uh, uh, only once a week to provide the uh, veggie meal. Now his company changed to uh, veggie meal every day. So all his uh, 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 staff is eating meal, uh, eating veggie meal every day now. He provided that in, in his company, in his factory. So we, we want to see a, a film about uh, this, about us. <clears throat> we received this kind of uh, alert uh, education. We must be uh, willing to learn, especially we must work together. We have to sincerely pray and then uh, eat vegetarian food. Uh, my, my health has now, uh, because of the veggie food, uh, uh, it's, it's already getting better. My father uh, has uh, made an expression uh, to provide this uh, meal. Yeah. For me, when I decide to eat, eat vegetarian a uh, few years ago, in that night, uh, even it's in a banquet, I just order uh, uh, rice and then get some uh, tofu and peanuts. 
们真的是就是从自己从自己做起呢，然后也开始去带动周边的人也一起。Thank you. You can see this, ah,、uh, brother Lin. 那其实我们慈济人呢，在去 start from himself, and then, ah,、uh, to encourage all people around him. Therefore, to promote vegetarian food is not just to cook food food for us, but we need to ah、um, promote it. From the point of view of、uh, environmental protection and religions too. So all our Suji volunteers follow Master's teaching. Like yeah, like in in Philippines, yeah,、uh, local because of the pandemic, many、uh, business activity are stopped. So、um, many people lose their job, and without uh, uh, they they are not they don't have meal to eat. So our volunteers there uh so started the uh distribution uh to help them pass this uh pandemic. Here, let's see.、Uh, take a look at、uh, what happened in, in Philippines. This is one of the, the、uh, resident in in、uh, Tatalu. They are so poor that he.、Uh, He only eat、uh, rice with、uh, salt and some water. Yeah, a family of of three、uh, can have a a very a small meal, ah,、uh, one meal a day. But now they only have these、uh, rices left. So our volunteer, ah.、Uh, Go there and, and and went with them to the market to buy the、uh, vegetable for them, so they can have vegetable to cook. They can only buy vegetable, but not meat. So, 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 So we can see that our volunteer is actually helping them a lot. Looks like we have some uh internet uh tech problem. 那最后呢，也跟大家分享一句近思语，那就是。我们要口说好话，传达爱的声音，然后手做好事，也要圆满记事善行。那其实呢，哦、so we should、uh, use listening to the bar dharma to purify our hearts. The last sentence I want. So, ah,、uh, to stabilize people's hearts, ah,、uh, to give volunteers, ah.、Uh, Use the technology to、uh, study the the Dharma quietly, so people、uh, can affect people to make them、uh, their their spirit、uh, be calm and pure. So masters teaching aphorism say we need to speak good words so that we can、uh, ex express we can spread the love voice and we also can do a good deed so that we can perfect the good deed of the.、Um, 
Actually, so we can bring pure purity to this society. Today, the individual in the last section that was referred to actually is going to be joining us as a um, speaker today in this next session. So we'll move on to that session in just a minute. Meanwhile, um, let's go through a few comments that we're seeing online. So, for example, from the Beijing team, um, we have comments from uh, or in regards to our share from Beijing earlier already. And then and then next we have, of course, or not for the next session, but we also have, as we mentioned earlier, um, Sister Tsiyue, who is going to different places in Taiwan right now. So so, um, Sister Mayun right now is sharing about um, the concept of an ocean of blessings and how we can all potentially contribute in different ways. And um, specifically for our online study group, we are actually coming up on our uh, eight year anniversary. Um, and so Sister Mayun is speaking of that as well. One commenter uh, mentioned that um, the brother from Beijing who shared earlier, it was very nice to hear from him and see um, how he really selflessly gives of himself. And so for everyone online, um, please uh, continue to give us feedback and comments um, through the various platforms, Facebook and YouTube and otherwise. So join me in reading out this uh, pane on the right, um, which says you don't need to be um, extremely talented um, or skilled to begin but you must begin um, to become particularly skilled. In other words, it's important to take that first step. It's not um, whether or not you already possess all of these talents and skills, but um, it's about taking action, getting started, and those are things you can build over time. So next, we will be inviting a speaker. So today we actually have um, a whole team joining us today, as opposed to just an individual speaker, or typically we do anyways. Um, but um, for today's section, we actually have just two members from that team, or from a team, joining us. Um, and why is it that we only have two members from the team coming this time? Because of the pandemic. So we don't want to have too many people transported at the same time. So earlier, if you remember um, the individual referred to in the last session, let's take a look at what his work entails. So he's sharing that when he was, when he was a child, he lived in very tough and difficult times. Uh, his family um, was not very wealthy. And for a long time in his childhood, he didn't even have shoes to wear. Hmm. 
So he actually runs a、uh, shoe business, a shoe factory. He's saying how a lot of his employees have been with him for twenty plus years, so everyone really、um, just has a sense of collaboration and understanding. So all of these videos、um, will be sent out for your separate view if you would like.、Um, whereas we won't go through all of it at the moment. You can see in the videos right now、um, the same man,、um, Brother Lin Kunwa. He has also、um, participated in international disaster relief. You should think about how, when you think about just yourself, you know, many times you feel you can never be satisfied with what you want. But when you go to something like disaster relief and see that folks. Some folks don't have the most basic necessities in life, or perhaps don't even have the energy or health to so much as just stand up on their feet.、Um, he realized、um, how much he had, and how important it how important it is to、um, be grateful for what you do have. So, looking on the screen right now, you can see. A lot of、um, collected materials and trash、uh, in this unit right here. So, for example, in that bathroom, you can see all of those、um, toilet paper piled up. Thinking说是有的，对不对？美惠，因为一直有蟑螂跑出来，但是就如同这样，辛苦之福就这样。每一个人来到慈济的姻缘还真不一样，他们的慈济姻缘还因为九二一。那其实呢，哎，sorry，
师来的时候讲的就是南投原来，那看看到我们缅甸这边，今天我们会跟缅甸来做连线，他也到莫桑比克哈、哦，所以从九二一进来的时候，他们其实脚步都没有停。Um, so here on the screen, um, you see that the same volunteer has been to, for example, Myanmar, uh, as well as Mozambique, and、um, later today we'll actually have someone sharing from Myanmar as well. 行脚的时候，无论他们回去或者是上人行脚的时候，他们总是可以让上人听到这样的感动。所以我们现在在这个影音，请导播待会 take 小画面的主场。这边热烈掌声欢迎我们的美惠师姐以及酷安师兄，我们对主和和情根福田。So let's welcome our sister May Hui and brother Kun Wang, who are the two members from our team that we mentioned earlier, who will be sharing on behalf of their entire team. And specifically, the team is the Hechi or the community group. Um, from a community called Cao Tun in central Taiwan. So let's welcome them. So Brother Kun Wang will be sharing first. Okay. Good morning, everyone. We are from the Nanto area, and specifically the Saltun community. So we're so grateful for the opportunity to share with everyone today、um, about how we、uh, share about vegetarianism in our community. So we want to let those who eat meat right now to be able to experience、um, healthy and good tasting vegetarian food,、um, and and then understand the importance and value of becoming vegetarian and the benefits of doing so, and then ultimately、um, have their own will and desire to become vegetarian. Master often tells us it's important to be able to see and understand the lessons of our times. It's so important to become vegetarian. It's so important to share this with others. It's so important to take action. And、um, as we talk about vegetarianism right now, we must bring this message to as many people as we can、um, to make a collective impact. So first, we'll talk about the impact we've made from、uh, from a corporate perspective, how we've shared、um, at specific companies, for example. And so, Brother Kun Wang will be sharing his experiences,、um, including the difficulties he's faced、um, and how he's used Dharma that he's learned from Siji and from Master、uh, Master Zeng Yin、um, to overcome these difficulties and to share vegetarianism with others. Dharma Master Zeng Yin,、um, masters at the abode,、uh, my Cixi family all around the world. Hi,、uh, hello. My name is、uh, Kun Wang Lin. Last year, I was certified as a Cixi volunteer. My Dharma name is Cheng Yu. Thank you, everyone. So I'm from、uh, the Nanto area, and specifically the Saltun community.、Um, to share about my vegetarian experience,、um, in 2018, I had gone to Vietnam、um, to one of、uh, to a factory, and a Cixi brother there、um, shared a Jingsi aphorism with me. Um, specifically, that、um, humans have limitless desire,、um, and that brings them endless suffering. And when I heard that, I was deeply moved. I felt as if this was Master speaking to me directly. And in that moment, I decided that I wanted to become Dharma Master Zeng Yin's disciple. That night, there was a、um, a feast that we were having at a Japanese restaurant, and all I ate was white rice, peanuts, and tofu. And from there,、um, that was the first step of my journey to becoming vegetarian. 
So after joining Siji, I'm usually between two places, Vietnam and Taiwan. So many times when I come back to Taiwan, um, folks will say, uh, folks in my company will say that, hey, um, you know, prices are rising for resources and for um, groceries, for example. Um, and they were saying, can you give us um, more expenses to be able to um, go towards the meals for the employees? And he immediately agreed and said, but I'd like to ask um, that we uh, do vegetarian meals. And so from there, he began to push vegetarianism um, within his own company. Now, um, in the past year, um, after the Lunar New Year, um, because of the pandemic, uh, Master often shared with us that it was so important to share vegetarianism. We are Dharma Master Tsung Yin's disciples. And so, of course, um, it's important for us to take heed um, what she shares to us. So I spoke to my company's employees and I told them how bad the pandemic is right now. As individuals, we may not be able to have any sort of massive impact on the greater scale of the disaster, but I hope that all of us um, can have a very sincere heart and become vegetarian um, and in this way contribute to um, helping the current pandemic subside and to prevent future ones as well. Now, folks at my company um, were also very willing to do so. But then in, in three to four months time afterwards, um, they sent a uh, representative to me to ask me to actually begin bringing meat back into the meals. And so I was very conflicted because at the time I had asked for everyone to join for about three months, right? To, um, to, to try vegetarian meals. Um, but then at the same time, if I brought meat back into the meals right now, I knew how many innocent animal lives would um, be lost because of this. Being vegetarian is not only exercising compassion for these animals and these beings, um, it's also protecting the earth and our environment. Now, my employees were asking me to bring me back into the meal. Um, and if I didn't agree to it, they might think, but you told us three months, you're going back against your word. And yet, if I did agree, I knew that many lives would be lost. So I was very conflicted and I took some time to really think through this. And when I went back to them, I said, hey, we've been vegetarian now for three to four months, and now you're asking me to bring meat back into the meals, and perhaps um, you're thinking of this from a nutritional perspective, um, as well as a taste and perspective of habit, um, what you're used to. Please give me some time. I will try to address these aspects for you. So I went to the Cao Tun office and asked um, the brothers and sisters at Siji to help me. I'm very grateful that Sister Mei Hui brought a group of Tsuji brothers and sisters to our company. Um, and I'm also grateful to um, Brother Hong Shifen, who is a doctor, uh, who came to our company to share about um, the link and the connection between vegetarianism and your house. And then another brother um, shared with me that there is yet another Tsuji brother um, with, it sounds like, a restaurant of their own um, or a business of their own um, who could help cater. 
And so with all of this support, um, I was able to continue um, sharing vegetarianism um, within my company. So let's uh, take a look at a video right now. So we know that being vegetarian is very good for our health. And so all of you know what my mission is. My mission is that here at our company, within the walls of our company, our factory can be a place of cultivation. Because I want to make this space within our company a pure land for all of us. This next individual sharing, and this next individual is actually the son of um, our brother right here, I believe. And he's sharing about um, his, I guess, his father or his boss's um, thoughts. He's sharing about working at the company, you know, you eat lunch here and it's vegetarian and maybe you bring some food back home and it's still vegetarian in the morning, maybe you have some bread, something like that. Um, and gradually um, you end up eating uh, pretty much a vegetarian meal um, without even necessarily noticing a bigger drastic change. So after some time, uh, so uh, after some time, I put up a anonymous form at our company to gauge how folks felt about um, this uh, this effort that we've been doing. This this um, these vegetarian meals that we were having. And 94% of people indicated that they were very satisfied and happy with the food that we were providing. What we also saw was that 53% felt that indeed their health had improved as a result of um, this change in their diet. Additionally, there were folks who um, decided that they actually wanted to go ahead and become vegetarian from there. And others felt that, hey, I will at least begin to reduce meat in my diet. So in that way, we were able to make um, quite an impact. So here in this picture, you can see that um, from this past year's Lunar New Year, or around that time, um, and there was a celebration for, I think, um, one of the newborn kids in the family. And many times when I'm meeting with other people, I always have a lot of Siji um, and Jing Si vegetarian products ready um, to share with folks. And I also share with a lot of people that if we want to be smart, if we want to have wisdom, if we want to be healthy, um, what's important is that, for example, we expose ourselves to a lot of literature, read a lot of books, right? Um, that we engage with the Dharma um, and that we exercise. But none of these things involve needing to eat more meat or fish or any other animal products. Um, so let's share, or let's thank Brother Kun Wong for his sharing. Next, I will be sharing that in, in the Cao Tun community, how we, how we uh, promote vegetarianism. So today we'll share in three different pieces. So first is that we really um, take advantage of every opportunity we have. So for example, here there is a community development association. Um, and each time we have an opportunity, we will share about vegetarianism. Um, here you'll see, for example, that we've had opportunities to share with police departments um, or um, various other events in the community. So let's take a look at one of these videos.
去向汗水不停滴落，陈米会贴心替他擦去汗水。So here you see our CG volunteers working very hard in this kitchen right here. Um, and this kitchen is actually in the medical clinic of one of our CG volunteers, specifically um, Dr. Hong Xifen. And Sister Mei Hui here is sharing that we want to promote the idea of going vegetarian and help the community understand um, the benefits of vegetarianism. And this individual shared that he went from eating a lot of meat to eating less meat to becoming vegetarian. And specifically, he could feel the changes in his body. For example, um, he feels that there is less body odor now. And so Dr. Hong Shifun has also right here is sharing about the benefits of vegetarianism. Um, and this individual shares that aside from your um, physical health, um, it really helps um, clear your mind and clear your heart as well. In addition to this, um, we also had a few surveys to ask folks to um, become vegetarian, but we felt that this wasn't enough. We also wanted to make it easy for um, usual meat eaters to be able to easily access vegetarian uh, food. And so we did this in the most, um, the most simple and the most grounded way. Um, specifically, we made the clinic of Dr. Hong Shifun, um, or at least we made the second floor of that clinic, um, kind of like a kitchen for us to specifically make vegetarian food for the community. And as more and more members of the community became seeds, um, and by seeds we mean these individuals who themselves have experienced the benefits of vegetarianism, they can then share with other folks. And so we made these vegetarian meals made in this kitchen very, very low cost, and um, we ask for folks to bring their own um, reusable utensils and bowls uh, and materials um, to protect the environment um, and at the same time from the vegetarian meal experience that it can be both delicious and very, very helpful. So um, we were able to touch many, many different organizations and even companies in the community, including, um, for example, police departments, um, an immigration agency, um, Toyota Motors in, in the area, um, and various other corporations and organizations. Beginning in April last year through February of this year, we were able to provide more than 20,000 vegetarian meals, which helped to save 40 pigs and 1,250 chickens. Because from what we understand um, and from the math that we've um, looked at, um, this is approximately the equivalent of the number of animal lives that we've been able to save. So here you can see um, the kitchen we're talking about. It's a very just regular kitchen, and we're so grateful to our culinary team because in a single day, we're able to prepare 100 to even a maximum of 120 vegetarian meals. And at the point where, and at the point where we exceed that 120 count, um, we usually prioritize the folks who perhaps are newer to this, um, and for the folks who've already experienced it, we ask them to um, perhaps continue being vegetarian, but um, with a different meal, and then we try to invite more community members in this way. So many times when you talk about vegetarian restaurants, that's the target market is folks who were already vegetarian. But what we wanted to do here was to target folks who were typical meat eaters um, so that we can help them become vegetarian. And so we'll hear a few sharings from folks. So this, uh, this individual is from the National Immigration Agency specifically from um, a shelter in the Nanto area. 
So he says that first, I'd like to thank um, Dr. Hong and Sister Mei Hui for um, sharing about vegetarianism with our agency. And to become vegetarian, I usually um, order two vegetarian uh, bentos a day, um, one for lunch and one for dinner. And in doing so, I have found that my body feels a lot lighter and um, healthier. And at the same time, I feel um, like I have a better mood as well. And so it's helped in both my physical health and even my temper and temperament, as well as uh, my personal compassion. When you see all of these animals um, being killed for our meals, um, and as they're about to be killed, you know how much fear must be in their hearts. So how can we bear to, to eat them? So um, with my ability as an individual, I want to make this contribution to help protect the environment and to reduce our carbon footprint. And I think that everyone um, can perhaps try, you know, in a given week, eating one to two meals with that are vegetarian and increasing that over time, um, just like myself, I can do it. And so I'm sure you can also do it. And next, let's take a look at the next video. And this is from the Sao Yi Corporation. Um, and it's the, I believe it's the CEO or the president of the corporation. Hi, I am um, Jin Tsai Shou from the Sao Yi Corporation. So our president was um, inviting us to join him in um, trying out a vegetarian diet. And so, to do this at our company, we started bringing in vegetarian bentos, um, and in doing so, um, and in specifically inviting Siji sisters to cook for us, um, nobody has to worry about what they have to eat for lunch. Um, it's all prepared for you. And we saved a lot of um, these, uh, usually these paper containers, um, that are often wasted. Now, for one of, I believe it is the the same president of the organization, he saw significant health benefits. He saw that his weight had gone down by five to six kilograms, and that I believe it's his blood sugar levels, so he's diabetic. Um, his blood sugar levels had gone down to the lowest level in years, um, and his temperament um, had improved as well. And then now let's look at the next sharing. This is um, a um, factory manager um, at Toyota. Ten years ago when her father passed away, she mentioned that she had become vegetarian for about half a year or so, but because of work, it's very inconvenient. And so she just ate vegetarian meals in the morning. She personally feels that there's a lot of benefits to being vegetarian, um, not just for folks who are religious or doing this for faith purposes, but um, even at Toyota, in recent years, we've pushed um, reducing our carbon footprint and protecting the environment. And Master often reminds us the importance of protecting the earth. And so even beyond this, though, there are so many personal benefits, um, especially to our health. And so um, our city brothers and sisters this time shared uh, these vegetarian meals with us to help protect um, animals in the environment. Um, and this effort really has touched touched us. And then meanwhile, um, I also try to share uh, vegetarian within our factory as well. And we have um, 10 to 20 people, uh, I believe, in our factory that order vegetarian meals every day. Um, and so this is something that we can all be a part of together. So thank you to all of our sharers. And I feel that when we can have folks in the community sharing about vegetarianism, it is an even better effect than if we individually go out and share it because they're speaking from an experience of having experienced it for the first time, for example. So 
for example, for this effort, um, we use these kind of like coupons or little slips um, to help share on vegetarianism, right? Um, and many times when you do an effort like this, how long do you do it? Maybe a couple of months. But because this is the clinic of one of our own volunteers, we're able to do this um, for a very, very long time. And so you see here that we have these little slips, right? These little um, coupons, if you will. And those are specific um, for um, the suffer that we're talking about. So many times um, you see that if folks have high cholesterol, if you have high uric acid, if uh, maybe you're anemic or have concerns with the calcium levels or protein levels, um, he would share with folks that um, becoming vegetarian could bring benefits to all of these folks. But of course, there are so many patients that he has, but um, very little time. So to help with this effort, um, Dr. Hong invited many other city volunteers to come in. And for all of these volunteers, they would each have 50 of these slips or coupons every month to share with other people and to distribute into the community. So, whereas every one of these volunteers may have had different experiences, um, their, their journey of going into the community and sharing about vegetarianism with the community um, and their heart um, to share vegetarianism was all the same. So for example, one of our sisters um, frequently hiked with a lot of folks. Um, and so having this relationship with a lot of her fellow friends and hikers, she was able to share um, and invite them to try out um, vegetarian meals. And because of that, a lot of these hikers have um, since become vegetarianism, uh, vegetarians as well. Um, and with each meal, we can make an impact. And this is another sister who um, owns a salon, and she also is, um, uh, she also pushes or shares about vegetarianism at every opportunity she has uh, to her clients. And so this is a patient of Dr. Hong who is diabetic. Or the patient is diabetic. And this patient was saying, the bento that I had at lunch today is the same as what the same lunch as what Dr. Hong had. And so now a lot of patients all know that Dr. Hong is sharing about vegetarianism, and a lot of patients are very willing um, to join Dr. Holm in um, trying vegetarian meals. So these little coupons from Dr. Holm's clinic, right? It's something that is really sustainable. We can continue down this path for a long time. It's not just a short-term effort. And we use these very skillful means to help bring in the community. And over time, we hope that um, it's not just one or two vegetarian meals, but perhaps um, an opportunity for them to each want to become vegetarian for the long term and to grow their own wisdom in various other aspects as well. So three steps, three key steps to what we talked about today. First is to be able to, to eat very healthy and delicious vegetarian meals. And from there, we can then take the next step and help folks understand the importance of becoming vegetarian, the benefits to themselves and to the world and to others. And then finally, um, we hope that they themselves can reach a point where they themselves have the will and desire to become vegetarian, not just for the short term, but for the rest of their lives. Master often tells us that it's easy to inspire people to want to do good deeds, but it's very difficult to 
ask people to become vegetarian. But despite the difficulties, it is something that we absolutely can do. And we talk about how important it is right now, especially as we see disasters of the scale of the COVID-19 pandemic. And so we must become vegetarian and um, remove animal products from our diet. So that is our sharing today. Thank you, everyone. Everyone, uh, this is Dian Liu uh, translating for you. Uh, we are very grateful uh, uh, they come here to share about the, the promotion of vegetarianism to help us protect the, the earth to protect uh, the animals and protect ourselves. Uh, and this is a small gift that we want to share with uh, the speakers. Uh, they are actually made from uh, the, the Jinsu bowl by our masters. So, so it's very delicious, and, and you, you also have uh, uh, this um, um, things that you can uh, uh, mix uh, in the noodles uh, to make it more delicious. Yeah, it's not easy, um, but uh, the difficulty makes us uh, stronger and more determined uh, to, to, to promote uh, the vegetarianism uh, among people that we know. Okay,就是上人家要做什么？你你们知道哈，那个木心木爱共善造福的时候，是他们先带动。嗯, the couple, uh, Dr. Hong and the sister Mei Hui, uh, they dedicate so much uh, in, in help promoting the vegetarianism. So, actually, I, the study group is a model a lot of from their effort uh, in, in uh, promoting Siji uh, in, in their local community. Uh, they make it easy to, to try out the vegetarians. They are really dedicated. And they are actually quite persistent. Yeah, they want to promote this uh, uh, vegetarianism forever in their clan. Yeah, of course, uh, they are more uh, uh, well off, but it's the, the dedica their dedication that actually uh, make people uh, move and touch them. Uh, this is uh, another gift uh, from our eighth anniversary of this uh, book club. Uh, 
uh, we prepared this gift very special for anniversary, uh, eighth anniversary. Yeah. Uh, okay. That's a stripe boy. Yeah, the stripe boy. Yeah. The glory comes only from hard work. Uh, you cannot wait for it. <laughs> there is a some, someone showing, showing up. Yeah. Last we were talking about the, uh, how important it is, our, our faith, uh, our, uh, our vow, and our action. Uh, yeah, actually, they were here uh, last yeah, the, the year before last year. Uh, um, so maybe you have already seen them if you are in the United States. Yeah, they dedicate a lot uh, uh, from their busy schedule, uh, from their company they, they established. And, uh, they will be coming uh, to share on uh, uh, 31st of the, the, this month. Uh, uh, master praised a lot of uh, these three brothers, actually two of them are here. For our anniversary, uh, we, we, I, I, I want I to make a bow for the anniversary, not just to celebrate. Says, uh, I want to raise uh, about uh, 30, 30, uh, like 300,000 uh, for, for charity program. So we will have a, a, a promotion program. Uh, so I want to raise a uh, 10,000 lotus. Uh, and each and each and each lotus will be presenting um, around around four thousand four thousand US dollar. Actually, four hundred four hundred uh, US dollar. So uh, we will have a big program to promote this uh, to to re raise uh, the, the ten thousand uh, lotus, which will be representing about four hundred US dollars. So if you if you like, you can join us. Uh, you don't have to donate it for four hundred dollars all by yourself. You can just find a few people to uh, a few people to join you. Or you do that uh, uh, in 
in in in in twelve months or, or even a few years. Ah,、uh, and yeah, yeah, it's the the accumulation of the minimal effort that will create a difference. Yeah, we we want to thank them for their 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 sharing here. Yeah, we we see the the power of perseverance and the power of the, the belief and then the power of the uh the uh evolve. So, so both of them uh, uh, wanna uh, donate ten lotus, uh, uh, which will be a four thousand dollar total for、uh, all their family members. So this is our fifth, uh, fifty-five. Anniversary. Yeah, let's come together for this.、Um, so this is a very special year, fifty-fifth、uh, uh, anniversary for Ciji. That's you as our action, make the world. Because of our kindness, because of our goodwill,、uh, become a, a, a better place. Yeah, that's that's our wish. Yeah, yeah, let's come together. Yeah, everybody, please join. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, now we receive a lot of feedback from many people around the world. And Brother Jack is actually translating、uh, this month,、uh, actually the, the today,、uh, with me as well. And then、um, on the twenty fourth last month,、uh, that we come together, all the translator coming together. And then, and then we meet with each other and then share our learning, our、uh, our praise to other team members,、uh, dedication, yeah, to make this possible. So, uh, so Jack, actually, uh, uh, To do the translation of the uh, uh, weekly summaries、uh, in English, so uh, this is just that、uh, uh, it, it started that uh, uh, our initial thoughts actually determine the success or failure of a project. So. So our mindset is very important. So this is the the the, the weekly summary. Uh, uh, they they we summarize it into some kind of um、uh, verses. Yeah, 
Uh, this is uh, from last uh, last week's uh, sharing. And this is about uh, uh, last last sharing uh, by uh, Superintendent Lai from Dalin Hospital. And this is uh, for uh, a a sister from China. And this is uh, for the the sharing from uh, uh, from our uh, headquarters. And this is uh, for the Indonesia's uh, uh, CEO, uh, Sister Su Nei Liu. So it sounds like a verse. Basically, summarize the, the what uh, what I shared from the the highlight from the last uh, uh, book club. Uh, uh, yeah, they are actually very uh, dedicated uh, doing this uh, a week uh, over week. Now we'll have our call out. Uh, but she, the, the, the leader from Myanmar team, actually said that they they could not make it uh, today. They are doing ma massive distribution for the poor people around uh, Myanmar. But luckily, uh, she uh, made the recording for us. Yeah, we see a lot of coverage in Dai TV that the effort is uh, really touching and to help out the many poor people in, in the country. Uh, amid the very uh, tight uh, restriction uh, due to the COVID-19. Yeah, some of the village doesn't even allow us to enter because uh, because they are so afraid that uh, if that the COVID uh, virus uh, get into their village, that will be uh, disastrous. And we need to go through a lot of the uh, 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 meeting to convince them that we are very careful and then uh, we just want to deliver the, the, the food to the people who, who need them at this uh, lockdown, lockdown uh, period. So she actually prepared a recording ahead of the time. So, yeah, she, she, she knew how important this is, and then she is also prepared for any um, situation. So let's watch the, the recording. 
的小摊位啊，这些都受了影响。慢慢的，有很多的人，嗯，很多的呃 ，small business 啊、um, ，they are all impacted by the lockdown。So they lost their job, and they they are, are, are very strict in in their lockdown that you basically cannot move. So many businesses got impacted. Yeah, it's ever since the 2008 the uh cyclone the uh, Nagas the impact the the Myanmar that caused uh, more than more than a hundred thousand people uh die, and then here that uh, at this time uh it we limited the, the human resources uh manpower we. We and under strict uh, uh, lockdown uh, protocols, we still need to distribute to uh, close to twenty thousand families in in many different rural area. 他是在缅甸的实业家，那他是高雄人。这段时间其实是在高雄，所以我就本来设计就是一分钟展家，就他跟金南师姐之间的一个互动。但是没想到金南师姐今天是透过录影。来说说金南师姐，也只有他一个在
and the master remind everybody that uh, don't forget about Myanmar. And remember that uh, in about a week, uh, Cixi is already present in Myanmar. And then the next day they start, um, the next week they started the first distribution for the people in 2008. So uh, this, uh, this is uh, uh, forever in their mind. And since 2009, they have an office uh, for 10 years. And then uh, 2019, they move into a new office, a bigger one. And, and uh, from the beginning, they have 13 uh, commissioners. Now they have uh, um, uh, 52 uh, commissioners and almost 800 uh, uh, community volunteers. Uh, and they now have a, 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 a humanity center uh, that looks really neat. And then in, and because of our commissioners, they also donate their own personal residence uh, or, or space. And then as a city office in different area, they are free right now. Yeah, there are totally three uh, uh, offices. And because of the COVID, uh, we started uh, the COVID uh, uh, relief distribution effort. And on the May 2nd last year, that, that we, we heard from Master that uh, some family was so poor, they need to cook the, the stone. Uh, uh, as a food. And so we decided that we need to expand our reach to the, the, the poor families. So we called uh, around 10 districts and then about 170 villages. Uh, we made uh, 41, uh, 40, about 42,000 uh, uh, phone calls to the families. And, and then the first time we we we, we collected about about eleven thousand families and the, the details right to do the distribution. And then on um, the last year's uh, Buddha's birthday, we started uh, the uh, emergency disaster relief uh, 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 efforts. And of course, we need to uh, in Myanmar is uh, it's very strict, right? So we need to observe the. Uh, observe the, 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 the very strict uh, social distancing and uh, a lot of uh, control protocols, right? And the weather was hot. And then as you can see that the, 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 the lockdown is very strict. You see almost no car. And yeah, on the distributing rice, so we put on the jeans apples and, and we also promote that uh, uh, people to adopt the, the, the rice bank. They, they can, they, even though they don't have money, they can donate uh, a, a handful of rice every day and to help others. Mm. Yeah, we model a lot from the, the protocol from Philippines, how they do the distribution in the, uh, in, um, among the COVID-19. And how can we do so much distribution because um, a lot of people come help, right? Uh, and then a lot of um, village heads also uh, uh, also uh, help us. They even doing the distribution uh, uh, with us, right? And they announce uh, our arrival and then about the program uh, through the, the their speakers. Yeah, so we, at the same time, we also leverage partner with uh, different uh, groups, uh, either Tempo or even Teachers Association, um, and uh, in the different places. 
And then at once we need to distribute five, five in five locations in one day. So we just keep on speeding up ourselves to, to make sure that uh, we can help the people who are really in need. And I'm so glad that uh, the community of uh, people, they also join us in setting up and then in, uh, in uh, in, in doing the distribution, right. So they don't, they don't only uh, uh, help with distribution, they also help with uh, doing the journalism to take picture, um, um, uh, taking video, whatever. Uh. So some area was really hard to reach, right? And we need to carry the rice by, uh, by, by hand. And now you see that there's so many joy, happy smiles uh, uh, after, uh, after the, the, they receive the rice. And we, we don't only promote, uh, don't give the rights, we also promote that uh, uh, their kindness, uh, that they can uh, adopt the piggy bank or something, a rice bank that you can put in the rice if they don't have money to, to donate. Um, and here that is a, a commodity of bunch head that, that uh, they receive from the master that uh, meaning that we need to connect with the, 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 the spiritual home and then so that we have the perseverance and uh, which is required the two to make possible uh, the miracles right? so uh, we are very much connected with uh, our our master and Master also uh, told us that, that it's important that we need to develop people's kindness, right? And then uh, don't look down on, on a small drop of water because it's the, 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 the accumulation of the drops of water that makes the river. So, yeah, so um, the master also said that uh, the poverty may not be hard to eliminate, but together when we help each other, we can overcome the difficult time together. Right? So thank you so much. Right? And thank you for uh, our, our headquarters uh, uh, support. Yeah. Yeah, I want to thank you uh, and thank uh, Sister Mei Yun and everyone here. Yeah, it's a difficulty, a very big challenge, but she faced it and then uh, commit to it and then make this possible with so few people. Uh, and distribute to almost 20,000 families uh, in such a short time. Word will be a better place if more people should. Uh, support for the vegetarian uh, so now uh, we have uh, quite a few feedbacks uh, from from the Facebook. Okay, now is our exercise time. Uh, that's uh, yeah, you can stand up and then exercise a little bit. And this is basically about uh, how how we uh, 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 wash our hands and how do we uh, observe the the, the uh, social distancing or to protect ourselves and others. Uh, uh, so here are some steps to wash your hands. 
and wearing mask when there are more people together. The measure is on a tight touch your mouth, uh, nose, or eyes. And bow instead of shaking hands. Okay, we are going to speed up. Uh, wash before you eat. Yeah, don't touch your face. So washing hands in the three seven steps. You can also exercise the wisdom. Yeah. Okay. Give yourself a round of applause. Okay. Let's do more exercise. Okay. <coughs> Okay, just follow it. Yeah, that's uh, uh that's an exercise together. Left and right, left and right. So this is a. a a very healthy uh, movement for him. Okay. And keep smiling. That's important. Good. Be sure to keep your smiles. How you feel more relaxed now? Turn and watching left and right. Okay, done. Okay. <laughs> May you have a wonderful time. Thank, thank them a lot. So next week during our eight year anniversary, we're going to have a very full program and we'll also have a, one of the Abo masters joining us with us and it will share, share uh, De Jian, Master De Jian, Master De Qing who will be here. 
Now, there are a lot of memorable stories, touching stories、uh, that happened in the abode. So, these abode masters will share with us what they have encountered. So, they will also come out from the,、uh, they will link with us online. They'll come out of the wall、um, to meet with us. And you can see here, this is for our fundraisers, our hundred. Oh, sorry, our ten thousand lotus、uh, fundraising program、uh, from from Northern California.、Uh, immediately, we already received three of the lotuses. So let's give her a round of applause.、Uh, these are all part of our、uh, positive feedback group, and we will promote that、uh, full heartedly during our anniversary next week. So,、um, as a method of encouraging our members and to recognize their 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 contributions,、um, for those who have pledged, we will also try to show them during show their names、uh, during our study group. And for the past, we have been、uh, collecting donations for the C package, where we send when we send to Mozambique to help with their their、uh, reconstruction eff efforts. So we welcome you and and invite you to join us.、Uh, put your put your hearts into action and walk along with us. 启动的日子还记得吗？那一零一三是什么？对我们现在 October thirteenth is also in Chinese synonymous with uh with one good deed per person. So we will be aiming to、uh, publish our results at uh every day on uh ten thirteen. And this is what we've been doing for the past two years, and we will once again reactivate that such eff effort、uh, we're doing our anniversary. So now we have our guest speakers, and this we can definitely feel the positive energy here in our group. But let me first show you two things. Uh, so one of the posters here, so they're standing outside as a punishment because the two older ones were sleeping in class, but the younger one is being punished for not sleeping. And this is such as life. At different stages of our lives, we have to encounter different types of worries. And on the right.、Uh, The husband is asking the wife, "So, happy birthday! What would you like for so for your birthday?" And the hu the husband is saying, "Well, you just nag me less." While the wife said that, "There's no way you, you'll be getting get getting this luxurious gift." So today, Sister G is also sharing her story that、uh, her that her husband had told him that for his birthday, his wish is so that he would not be called by name that one day. So from this picture, you can see our superintendent of the Tsuji Hospital. Uh, Superintendent Chow was visiting their homes. Now I haven't even been to their house myself, so、uh, you can I, you can join with me as we look around. Now Sister Ji has a, a lot of principles because. Uh, because of their strict house rules,、um, they have they they have、uh, organized their shoes and and organized their drawers. And one of the stories is that、uh, they say that 
for you to bring one thing home, I have to throw away one thing from the house. So as as a result, whenever she goes out uh, on trips, she never brings anything back. And this is uh, our stories from when we traveled to Singapore. And when I met her there, we I, I invited her to share with us during uh, online group. And she said that as long as I'm alive, I will be here. Now, just give her a round of applause. Uh, that's that's her pledge that as long as she's alive, she will be here. So she came in 2018 and share, shared uh, that story. And everyone had a, had a good time because Sister G is a very happy person, very humorous person. So regardless of what she shared, we always feel that, that oh, it's like our mother has arrived. But I'm also very touched because not a lot of people would pledge that, that as long as they are alive. So last week, she called me saying that I'm still alive, so I will be there. So, so in 2019, she was here as well. And here, there are a lot of clips that of her. But I want to share with you this particular one, because this is one of the earliest uh, encounters when she met Master Jin Yen. Um, she asked her three questions. So when I got to Hualien, there were there were no rails at that time, so we flew. Um, so, so I knew that to do good deeds, we need to pledge a hundred dollars a month to help these people, and so I I decided to join. Um, they say that they will have someone to come with to come collect every month, and I said no, no, I'll just pledge a whole year at once. So I gave her uh, twelve hundred dollars all at once, but I also seen pictures of them and I feel really bad for them but I I, I feel I feel that I, if I do something good I should have uh I should be receiving something good in return right so I asked master will I receive something good and master nodded her head and and she said and master said that if you do a good deed the people around you will also be good as well because at that time I feel like I am suffering because I didn't marry into a, a happy husband, a good husband, or my son, um, other people's son always seem to be in a better position. So I asked Master that if I have, if I do something, if I do a good deed, will my son benefit? Uh, Master also nodded her head. She said that um, if you're if, if you do something good, then you're, even if your son encounters difficulty, encounter obstacles, people around them will help them because they know that you are doing good deeds. So I know that if I do a good deed, I become a good role model. So people will see it and follow along. And as, as a result, people around them around me will will transform and be a better person as well. So you can see people in my house uh, had the transformation. And one last question. Uh, well, because of limited time, uh, I won't be sure. I won't share that with you. So I'm sharing with you the opening of the Jingsi Cafe in one of the schools. So Sister Xiaorong and uh, uh, Sister Ji were actually sisters. So if we have a good heart, then whatever we see will be enjoyable, very beauty, very beautiful. That's what uh, Sister Sharon was, was saying earlier. But let us welcome our, our speakers. So we have all three of them here. Uh, today, it, besides uh, Sister Ji, 
she pledged to be here on the International Women's Day, and she said that as long as she's alive, she will be here. And every person has their affinities and their connections. Like when I was in Hualien, it was the fourth year anniversary of the Tsuji Hospital. Um, at that time, we I wasn't able to be in the in the uh, audience. I was actually watching it from a screen. And I saw a person who was sharing on, on screen and I was really motivated. And I said that I want to be just like her because she is so uh, attractive, so engaging. So I didn't realize that that person I was watching is actually her. So I want to follow her. As long as I'm alive, I will be here. And during our in your life, you find many role models. Like for, for example, Master Zheng Yan is one of our role model. But you also have a lot of people that you can learn from. And she is such a, 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 a role model that I learned from. And it's not just her coming in, she also brought two other persons with her. And during the uh, Buddha Buddhist retreats, um, she was my team leader. And back in the days, uh, they were brushing teeth. When you, when you bring your toothbrush, they have a little lid. Uh, but that was something I never seen before. And I was, and I was looking at it. So Sister G gave me that cover. And I kept it for so long. Um, even now, all of my toothbrushes has a cover on it. And it, maybe Sister G, I forgot about it, but I still remember. So even if time has passed, their role model we can learn from. We can learn from our role model at different stages, and we can learn continuously. So Sister Li Zhen has been a, a has been with uh, Sister G for a long time. So let's give her a minute just to, to share. And so 30 years ago, I saw her on stage and I, and I said, I want to be just like her. And now that even now with a head full of gray hair, she still has a heart just like a child, pure and easy and very diligent moves very fast. Even now when we're making a, when we're doing our anniversary, our, 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 our yearbooks, um, she still do the same thing that she does. Uh, she still goes into the kitchen and cook for everyone. So I've said that if, if, she, if she can live to be 120, we want to be just like her and live up to be 120. So to all our female volunteers, we have a, a small gift uh, given to all our, our female volunteers, and it will receive it from uh, Sister G, and that will be an opportunity. So if you have anyone that's here joining us, um, to let them know. But for those who can't join us, well, you can imagine that she's with you. So, and let's welcome uh, Sister G for her sharing. So, to our brothers and sisters, uh, great, so great to see you. And I, I really feel that at this moment, I, I can't put into words what I really want to say. But Sister Mayun, every word that she said is, is full of talent. Um, because every word she said, there's no comma, there's no period. It just continues on and on. And so I thought about it like if, that she, when she said that she's want to learn from me. I can only say that she has already, already surpassed me. So now, if people 
praise me. I stand. I will stand tall, and I will absorb and take it in. And I will reply, "Thank you so much." Right. So I'm receiving all their praises, and then thank them for their for their、uh, encouragement. Because each word is not just a praise, but also a encouragement. It's a blessing. Uh, it, everything that they say you say to you is filled with integrity and truth. So the, if the more the more people acknowledge you, then recognize you. That is to acknowledge your hard work, and that's an encouragement for you to to pay it back and do it more, and to meet their expectations. So once I ask Master because I've been. In city for forty two years, I asked Master like, how come every time when I collect a little, when I save up a little bit, there's always a donate. There, there is also always people asking for donations,、uh, whether it is from building hospitals or schools. Also, I can never seem to save money here, and that was a long time ago. I didn't really、uh, know why. Well, at that time, Master Ami, because at that time,、uh, when I asked Master that, Master said to me that because your pocket has a a fountain, so every time that you save up, every time you donate, it becomes filled back up with love, and. And it's the blessing that Master has. Master has for all of us because here in Taiwan we have received so much blessing. We have been so peaceful, and the the love that we receive from each other is just like a like an endless spring, endless fountain that will keep coming up. So everyone,、uh, just stop applauding because as you applaud, as you applaud, you are you are taking up my time because I have a lot to say. So my progress in Siji because of my affinity with with Master Zhen Yan, I believed her 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 mission, her vows. But every time I made a vow with 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 Master,、uh, every time I made a vow with Master in the abode, by the time I got home, that vow seemed to disappear. So that that willingness, that vow, will have. To come from within our hearts, come from our our faith. Uh, don't just think about doing good deeds in the Cixi family, with the Cixi family, but rather you can always do it with within your family, your your everyday family, your 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 spouse, your brothers and sisters, and you have to make. Good affinities、uh, to establish good karma with everyone, and that will be the fuel. So from our vows, and that is will come from your firm resolve, and then with that you have to have to do good deeds, have to do. And every time, whenever I receive a phone call, when I have people asking me,、uh, because they were asking me my help, I will always say. Yes, I will be there. I remember I asked Master one time that what happens if I'm getting old. Master said that well, then you will come out and let people see you. I, I always wonder what am I, why am I, what am I coming out and what do people want to see? And now I realize that now I am about eighty years old.、Uh, I am standing out here so you, for you all to watch me to see me. Uh, to see the things I have done and things that we all can do. So Sister Mary has is someone who is has a very good memory. Even that tiny little toothbrush cover,、uh, she still remembers it. Well,、um, this so regarding this book that I wrote, and I asked people that if you see the cloud, why? Does the cloud float so so easily?、Um, it is because after a rain,、uh, the the cloud has lost all that weight. Then it becomes so light and float around. So we have to shed that weight, like that suffering in our world, and 
if we continue to carry on that suffering, we become so heavy with it. So by with Dharma, uh, we cleanse ourselves and just shed all that weight, shed that suffering. Then you can see the rainbow at the, at the sky's end. So whenever I see clouds floating around so lively, so free, uh, I was I was always say that it is a happy sign uh, because that means that we can let go of affliction, let go of our worries. But this time, the the topic uh, Sister Mary gave given me is that we'll have a light cloud and light breeze. And that reminded me that in our, our human lives is so brief. Days, day by day goes by so fast. So if you're able to see with an open mind uh, to let go, then you can live so freely and happily. And this is also another blessing for me. Um, even though I haven't got to that point in my life, but this is still a blessing for me and for everyone as well. And uh, that as we age, as we get older, we have passed different stages of our spiritual cultivation. So 40 something years, 40 some years ago, uh, when I first came in, when first I first got to Tsuji, I will also go to, always go to the boat and stay for two or three days. And I was very happy. Uh, Master always asked me, so what, why are you doing here? Like, what, what have you learned coming to the boat? Uh, so I always said that, well, the easy stuff I don't want to do, the hard stuff I don't know how to do, but I'm just so enjoying my time. And Master's always would, would shake her head. And she would say that our ordinary beings, uh, because I all I because I would be coming into the boat and just to enjoy the three meals a day. But even though I was just an ordinary being uh, staying for the food, um, I never left. I still stayed along and I continued work continue with Siji, follow the Siji family for the 40 something years. And I have changed myself from an ordinary being to the, to the likeness of a Bodhisattva, to, to know to follow the footsteps of Siji, whether it is in the four missions or the eight dharmas, or, or the eight dharma steps. It is just a, like an Im imaginary stop. It will just show you a path that you can follow through. And, and that has been my model. I just follow the people in front of me. As long as they're walking along, I walk along with them. So in 1979, when I first came into Tsuji, I had a lot of questions for, for Master Zhen Yan. I always asked her what, was, what would be the best way to live a happy, fulfilling life. So I asked Master, what kind of life is the most fulfilling? And I, and I always thought that Master would say, oh, to be rich, uh, to have a wealthy family. And Master only replied with four words, to have a healthy mind and healthy body. Those are the most fulfilling. And so that has pointed a direction for me because our body comes from our, our parents. But the soundness, the health of our mental state, our spirit will come from the teachings of Master, the teachings of Buddha. So to combine with them, then that's that's how we have a a well our spiritual well-being. And I think Master who brought us to the, our spiritual well-being nowadays. So if people call me, just like give me a phone, give me a phone call, give me a ring, and if people ask me, uh, I always pick up because each phone call is a chance to cultivate. Because if you don't do anything today, then it still goes by day by day. And I always said to Master that uh, back then when we didn't have. Uh, we didn't have a, a TV station. And I always say that 
Master, don't always tell me to, to be a, in front of a camera because I always see myself looking so old and and not so attractive in front of the camera. And I would and I always tell Master that you know, get the the younger people to 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 uh, to show. But Master would reply that this moment of you is the youngest. At that time, I didn't really understand it, but now to think back, like we are getting older by the minute. So, for example, the ten o'clock, the the me at ten o'clock compared to now, which one is the younger one? Like, or if compared to now versus the the me in the afternoon, who is the younger? Right, it's always so. The moment. The present moment, uh, that's when we are always the youngest. So if we keep that one second, because if we keep that moment, uh, cherish that moment, keep that one second, if we can connect it together, then that you can hold on to that moment forever. So I wrote a verse uh, back then, so that even though today I am older than yesterday, I'm younger than tomorrow. So I always keep a, a mentality that if I don't do it today, I will only be older tomorrow. And, so, and as, as such, I would always, I would never give myself excuse to delay or to procrastinate. So I made all those PowerPoints myself. And we have to cherish our, our days, our peaceful days, because, because even if we're, even if the, because the peacefulness comes from the outside and within you. Um, if you're, even if the days are peaceful and you're not peaceful within you, you're still getting into quarrels, getting into arguments with people around there. Your life will not be peaceful. Like people, a lot, a lot of people say that Siji uh, is already very wealthy, very well off. Why are we asking for donations? Well, it's because because Siji are all full of. Uh, full of love, full of heart, and full of wisdom. And that's what makes us so so wealthy. And that is comes from the, the little drops of love from everyone that participated in. And our wealth doesn't come from what's in our pocket, but it comes from, with, from our heart. And everything here are all words of wisdom from Master Zen Yan. So if we are wealthy in our, if we're well, full of love, full of, full of emotions, full of wisdom, then we are very wealthy. So how do we get a drop of water that will never dry up? Well, that if you drop it into the ocean, it will never dry. So it's the same, just like our donations. If we put in a, a, however little bit of money into, into the donation, if we pull it up, then it will never be powerless. It will continue to do good deeds around the world. Uh, doing, in the early days, city donations are always collected by the older volunteers who never receive a formal education, who never had a lot of money, but they were the, the firm supporters of Siji. During the second decade of Siji, uh, Master has vowed to build a hospital. And I asked Master that, how do we ask these older people? How do we ask, how, do, how, how would these people how would these older volunteers collect enough money? So Master asked me, what kind of people will be best? Uh, so uh, I told Master that we need younger volunteers. We need, we need richer volunteers because we need more money to build hospital. And Master says, so what's more? 
and Master said, and I said to her that, oh, we need more, we need more educated volunteers, and we need volunteers with so with higher social status. And when Master, after Master's hearing here, and she said to me, every religion. Is based on equality. If they have love, then then they are suitable volunteers. So I remember the aphorism, the Jesus aphorism. So we're asking uh, her to speak Mandarin. Um, so, from the Jesus aphorism, say that uh, don't belittle yourself because every everyone has limited possibilities. So I would invite a. So I I, I would invite my friends. And I told Master. That oh, master, come out. My my friend is very rich. He can help a lot in the donation in the uh, building hospital. And master came out and looked at me and said, "So if you bring a, a not so wealthy friend, so should I just take my time then?" And I was speechless at that time. I'm sure I gave Master a lot of headaches uh, when I when I first joined CG, but I all I remember one time I said to her that I didn't come from I didn't come from Buddhist background, so I don't know all that. I don't know a lot of the the Buddhist speech. And but Master replied that as long as you don't don't speak randomly, that's enough. So what it means that uh, we have to. Be careful. Be mindful of how we talk. Or think before we talk. So nowadays, that when we have to wear a mask, um, it's it it's a reminder that we have to speak good words, uh, so we can keep our bad words under our mask and everything all covered up. So we have to be very grateful for this opportunity that we have to wear a mask and have to learn from this this uh, this crisis, this opportunity. Now, when I first got into tea, there's so many rules, so many, so many regulations, and I and I say that oh, without before I came into tea, I can do whatever I want. I live a, such a free life, but after tea, I have to walk a certain way. We have to interact with each other. Uh, in a certain way, it's so hard to be a Tzuji volunteer. And Master will say that, well, as long as you're in Tzuji, that is to look, that is for you to learn how to behave, how to behave properly. And this ha having to be, how to be, uh, how to behave, uh, at that, that time, that's, it's a, a, uh, Convenient means, uh, because as long because if you're able to to present yourself properly, then you also change your personality as well. So each of the words that these little tidbits I have learned, um, these are all essence of Buddhism. So before I joined Siji, uh, my my in-laws are already moved out of the house. So I remember in Siji, they always say that uh, being that uh, there's there are a couple of things in life that you cannot wait. Which one of them is to be filial piety, uh, to be respectful for your elderly. And I always say to Master that I'm a really good person. It just I have a bad temper and I I have a very a straightforward. I'm a very straight talker. Uh, and Master would say that if you're if you if you don't have a good temper, even if you think you're a good person, you're not a real good person. Because imagine yourself being a, a factory, and the words you you say is the product. So if you're, if you can tell 
people how well your factory is, but your product is not is not good, not up to standards. What is does that that speaks volumes about who you are or how your the factory? And I always think that. Uh, my father-in-law will will be nitty picky of little things. Uh, so at that time, my father-in-law would be very nitty picky, and I I always I I always say back that. You know, look at your son. I am not 100% satisfied with him, and that's and that's who you taught, and that's that's our our, our verbal quarrels with my in-laws. But after joining Siji, and after I learned that, I felt really ashamed, and I already learned. I would kneel in front of him and and apologize, and he would say that uh, a daughter of a businessman was willing to say anything to seal the deal. So obviously he didn't he didn't forgive me at that time. And from that, I realized that physical physical scars uh, from a sharp knife could heal easily, but mental scars in our memory from bad words is very hard to erase. And we have so we have to be very mindful of what we say in our words. I remember one of the sisters has taught, told Master Zhen Yan that oh, Sister Ji has such a such a a good talent in speech. It's so talented in speaking, and and master was saying, "Oh, though that she's talented in speaking and just full of full of words, but each of the words you say would need to have merit." And and I have to think about what master was trying to say, and I realized that. The more you speak, the more you say, the more afflictions, the more problems you create, and will have create a lot of gossip and causing a lot of obstacles and uh, and influence and effects in the society. But if we have merit in our speech. Then we can spread dharma and and help promote wisdom. So in Siji, there's so many ways to cultivate ourselves, and so many way, so many words, so many good words that we can use to spread dharma. So this cultivation is to with, come within yourselves uh, to make modification to yourself. You have to change yourself first before you can influence other people. And so all that said is so that by coming into Tsuji, are we cultivating, are we learning? And by holding our principles, our precepts, and from there we start to change ourselves then everyone can see your transformation and at, and will be join you. So thank you all so much for, for listening, for joining. And I'm very grateful to have this opportunity to come in. Um, the, the study club always give us a positive energy, positive uh, affinity, a good karma for all of us to be here. And I'm sure this will not be the, the only time we have together. And I'm very grateful that I am able to be here today. Um, Sister G has been, has been a good sister of mine, even though we ha have, even though we have a different last name, uh, we still share by blood and share by Dharma. And from the earlier sharings, uh, Sister Meihui was sharing that when we're promoting vegetarianism, they have to understand, they have to be able to eat, and they have to be able to, to do, it them, do it themselves. So 
she has such a good affinity to uh, to grow this vegetarian promotion. And we always thought that Masha always said that to promote vegetarianism, we have to start at home because we always eat vegetarian when eat vegetarian meals when we're in our events. But sometimes at home, we couldn't care less. So from there, I learned that I have to take that opportunity to promote vegetarian at home and using what I have learned in from our events, from our communities, and we have to use it, use that in in our homes. So from volunteering, from promoting vegetarianism in the community, I learned how to cook vegetarian meals, and from there I could use that to make a vegetarian meals to at home to share with my family and i would and i always share with them that every 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 living beings that you consume uh they are looking for a host to express their anger so i i told them that at, from that I want to clear all our fridge of these spirits, the uh, these living living beings. Uh, so I only want vegetarian food in our fridge. So from that experience, um, I can share vegetarian cookings with my family and share with them why we have to be vegetarian life. Um, and they always ask them, and I, I, they would ask me how long, so they would ask them how long uh, I'd be vegetarian, and I would say, oh, just, just a little longer, just a little longer, and it's been a year, and, and my husband, or finally couldn't hold it and brought a piece of fish home and to cook for himself. Well, since he doesn't know how to cook, um, that the fish ended up just being wasted and got thrown away. And he decided to become a vegetarian anyway. So I'm very grateful for the opportunity. So we can hear a lot of their uh, sharings, uh, their words of wisdom uh, from these older volunteers, these experienced volunteers uh, like me. I've been in CG for 30 years. Nobody see me as an as a older volunteer. But from from them, from their uh, role, from their what their from the behavior, from what they do, we can learn a lot of little little wisdom, little stories. So let's give them a round of applause because this is from our heart that we are so grateful for them to share with us. And Sister G is very willing to share more. And as one thing that Sister G may have forgotten that, oh, after that, that retreat, I was I represented the group to share, and after my sharing, she has said that, "Oh, you will, you will be great in the future, and look at where we are right now." I don't know if we have. I was a great figure yet, but at least I had a lot of opportunities to to share. And for example, this uh, this person connecting us from from Manchester in the UK. It's two a.m. there right now, and she's still on with us. And sharing that uh, Sister G has a lot of wisdom, word, wisdom, a lot of stories to share, that everyone's pocket becomes an endless spring. And, and she has no period or comma as well, and there's no break in between, her, between her talk. And this is from a CEO in New York. Uh, I was hoping that more volunteers could join us in the future. So from all these from these uh, comments, 
、uh, they were sharing about their their stories of、uh, how they hear from、uh, from Sister G, and each of the words that they've learned then has become a a model and a spiritual guidance. So each of us can be a positive influence to the people around us, and from the from the books that she has written, or if you're curious to learn more about her stories,、uh, then please share the the broadcast, and everyone could could listen in.、Um, Or if you want to learn more in-depth stories, you can also read the books because these are ones that these are stories that she wrote because she know she can write. <laughs> And our next is next、uh, segment. It is from our our group. Everything, all the information that's coming tonight will send out to everybody around the world. Let's give her a round of applause. Thank you so much. Here's the monthly topic. This is Sister Lin Yuru. She says since she joined the book club, this is the third year. From the beginning, she thought the book club is that everyone is holding book and reading together. She didn't expect this group book club to be a speech conference after all. Here, apart from hearing the teaching of the master, lecture from different professional fields, share a lot of goodness every week, and there are also great doctors who come to hear to share common knowledge about health. What's even amazing is that even the celebrity who are usually only seen on TV can be invited by Sister Mayun. So it really it changed her original stereotype of the book club. And she learned that、uh, Master had only started to learn computer in her 60s. Sister Xue Yu started to study PowerPoint presentation at the age of 50. Teacher Zhang Shui could also guide reading at the age of 80. And there were so many brother sister life story share in this group book club. After witness all this thing, she used to say, "I can't do it." But now, after she attended the book club, she will say to people, "I will try." So she can, she hopes she can be great too. This is a sister. Pan Genmei. She used to be a Cixin student. Her dad's also here today. She knew Cixin through her dad, who was also a community volunteer more than ten years ago. When she was in college, her dad always said, "You have to join the Cixin club." She said, "No problem." But then, after she entered the college, she was fascinated by other clubs. And back then, the well, actually, uh, for Cixin uniform, the girl have to braid their hair, and she didn't think that was fashionable. So, of all the reasons, she decided that it's not for her. She attended maybe a couple times, and then she slowly fade out the club. But fortunate enough, after a few years later, she encountered with Cixi again. And whenever she heard Cixin children share what they did during the event. 
She felt infinite repentance toward the past self in her life, wondering why she couldn't do it back then. Fortunately, she had the opportunity to join the book club during her internship. Sister Mei always encouraged her. And she started to take the lead in the footstep of the teacher with the encouragement of other teacher. And she had to read a lot. She had to read the text repeatedly every time and take notes. And she had a discussion with the master at the beginning of the year. And she raised a question to the master about the meaning, true meaning of me. And during the book club, sometimes she was enlightened by somebody's even one phrase or one word that will solve her problem in her life. And she wants to be true to herself and also be able to share Dharma to everybody. Isn't she great? She's young, but she, they are also learning a lot. Can you believe she just finished everything in three minutes? This is a good way to train them. I know all this can be trained. The more you do, the better you are at it. And Sister Pan Genmei has already been host at several events. Back in January, when we had a meeting with the master, master was very pleased of what we did. And she's able to witness what this book club did to people around the world, not just for the city of Kaohsiung. This is a message online that somebody mentioned that the Myanmar volunteer, what they do is not easy right now, the current situation of all the political situation, and they're still doing it despite all the obstacles. This is what I want to share with, uh, with you. Everything that this is actually a USB. I put all the information in here with books, all in this one USB. It's hard for me to recite the text of the book. But uh, with this thing, you're able to read it anywhere. This instrument can play back all the text in the book and the music too. You can bring it everywhere with you.
and we've decided whoever attend the book club today here will get one of this today. And here are more books about the Dharma that's coming out. There's one book about immigration, and there's another book about the written by a doctor. Ever since the pandemic started, we been introducing this Jinsi herbal tea. This tea will make your immune system better. And it's, it's a tea bag. You can brew it twice a day. And here we have so many products. This is, a, this is our team's model. Want to show you next week, March 17 is our eighth anniversary of the book club. We will prepare a gift for people who attend. And for this lotus donation, I want to I want everybody to share this great donation fundraising event. Here's the preview for March 24. Uh, we have a celebrity that's coming from the Da'ai drama. Also on March 24, we have a religion official from the headquarter. And this is the preview March 31st. You can tell we have all these exciting events that's coming up. People from different fields. And this is the preview of April 7. Everybody, please get up. Bow to the Master and the Buddha. First bow, second bow, third bow. Let's say hi to the Master and 